The people in this video have potty mouths due to their limited vocabulary. If you are easily offended by words that rhyme with duck, pit, or punt, you have been warned. Hey guys, this is Andre Bet, nice guy extraordinaire with Fuha. And on today's episode of Big Words Andre Bet, I'll be talking to two DJs from Coog Radio. Coog Radio is a new internet radio station based out of the University of Houston that plays all kinds of really great music and has some really interesting shows. We'll be speaking to Alicia Esquivel and Garen Bailey, who both have really fun shows that I love and listen to pretty regularly. So let's go talk to them about music, mayhem, and the Muppets. See you there. Hi guys, so we're here once again, and this is Alicia, and this is Garen. Give us a little bit about yourselves. Um, I'm Alicia, I'm an art history major and a DJ for Coog Radio. What's the name of your show? My show's name is Atlas's Playlist. Cool. And I'm Garen, um, I'm majoring in digital media, and my show's called The Ecliptic. Sweet. So what's the show's about? Basically, uh, my show is about music and astrology, and I thought it was like a great way to, compi to combine two things that I was passionate about, so, yeah. Cool. Uh, my show is like a world music show, and each week I go to a different country based on an, like a visual artist that has something going on in Houston at the time. So what kind of music do you guys generally listen to when you're not being cool radio people? Well, I love uh, pretty eclectic mixes of stuff um you know i love uh alternative anything alternative really like um uh, on my show i play um you know stuff that's kind of like rockish to stuff that's more electronic uh type mm -hmm. so yeah i mean i don't really have like a set genre that i prefer okay. yeah i like a lot of different things but recently i've been into a lot of hip-hop oh yeah like who um well i mean doing the world show i've been getting to a lot of like other countries hip hop, Sweet. so that's like, cool. Uh, there's this German hip hop group called Snow Goons. Like they're really cool. So how's it how's it been being a DJ? I mean, like that's I think that's something that everyone dreams about when they like make their little playlists on their <laughs> iPod. It's like, oh man, people will love this shit, I right? Was say that. Like it's been really cool because I had that on my list and one of the things that I wanted to do, like you know, before leaving this earth, so I can cross it off now, you know. No so yeah, it's, it's been a lot of fun, and you know, it's been a great way to communicate with people, and you know belong to a group of people that have like similar interests and so yeah yeah it's been fun i never thought like oh i want to be a dj but i kind of like doing everything so mm -hmm. it's cool that i got to do it definitely yeah. so what what else um what about being a dj is fun in terms of um getting feedback from people like do you get people that that hear your voice and is like hey have you been on it or do you get people that comment on your Facebook pages saying like, whoa, that's a really cool thing you said, or, you know, you have astrology and you have world music, you're sort of introducing people into things that they wouldn't normally hear. That's mm -hmm. it's pretty interesting. It's I'm always surprised when someone says they listen to my show, like someone that's not, like, related yeah. to me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's not your mom? <laughs> yeah, I don't think my mom's even listening. She just can't figure out the computer. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Cool radio! <laughs> Uh, no, yeah, it's always really cool to hear that someone listened to your show, and then, yeah, when they're like, oh, what was that one, you know, I was like, oh, is this crazy, whatever, in German or something, like, here it is, mm -hmm. I can't say it, but I'll write it down for you. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I mean, it's been really cool, like, people would just be like, really cool show, or, you know, like, really great job today, and I'm like, whoa, I don't even know you, like, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was like, I'm glad you think so, so, yeah. Okay, guys, so now we're going to get to the segment where we ask you some very serious questions. The first one's for you, Garen. Okay. Who is your favorite Muppet, and why? My favorite Muppet? Yeah. Who? Um, I don't even know if I can like recall a Muppet, except for Kermit the Frog, so... He's a good one, though. I like Kermit. Green's my favorite color, so I'm gonna go with Kermit. <laughs> yeah. Same question for you, just cause. Um... Is an animal? Is that a Kermit? I mean, it's a Kermit. Is that a Kermit? <laughs> no, it's not. Is that not. a Muppet? That's a Muppet, right? Yeah, animal yeah. is a Muppet. Okay, I'll, I'll say an animal, only because... Okay. <laughs> I like anything that's in underwear form. <laughs> yes. I can't cool. remember anyone except for Kermit and Miss Piggy. Yeah. <laughs> There's um Fozzie the clown. Mm -hmm. 
there's the bear, sorry, and there's Ralph the dog. You guys know Ralph, right? Yeah. He has big floppy ears. Yeah. Okay. And he speaks in a nice okay, voice, yeah. like a gritty voice. And I'm sure we know the faces. Bird and Ernie. Faces. I get them confused Big Bird, Sesame Street. Street. No, they're <laughs> Sesame Street. Those aren't Muppets. Yeah, they're I'm Muppets. Just... They're made by Jim Henson, so they're Muppets. Okay. Are they made by the same guy? I feel like there's a lot of... Yeah. yeah I'm not know. sure if they're all the same. If they look like a Muppet, they are a Muppet. <laughs> <laughs> they, they look so alike. They look puppets. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> we can talk about this for like ha another. Sh that's another show. That's another <laughs> show. Okay, so what's ver one version of a regular costume you think would be a funny sexified costume? Um, any like any costume? Any costume. Okay, well, like a sumo wrestler. A sexy sumo wrestler. <laughs> I was a sumo wrestler for Halloween, and I thought it was pretty sexy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess, I guess the prospect of a woman in like just a diaper would be funny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, that, that works. How about you? Wow, um, I have no idea. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, last one. What's your stance on the world ending in 2012? I, okay. <laughs> okay, you got <laughs> The world is supposed to end December 21st, 2012, which is the day before my 21st birthday. Fucked so up. I'm not looking forward to that at all. <laughs> but, if, like, I am looking for awesome pre party. Awesome birthday party and then awesome post party. So you guys want to party for me three days? That's, that sounds doable. I and mean, that's <laughs> gonna be the day. My birthday is gonna be the day before that. Yeah, so we can four day parties. We that it. definitely sounds possible. <laughs> How about you, astrology man? There's actually um, some interesting theories about uh, that topic, but the world is not going to end. That is not my belief either. We'll you know, still party. Yeah, still party. There's, <laughs> there's definitely like some interesting things going on, and like one of the things I do in the show is I look at these things called natal charts, and they're like basically maps of the planet when a person is born or it can be a thing so at the beginning of the year there's like a really significant point i guess where the moon and uranus align and then there's also like uh, the sun's conjunct pluto which means that it's like right next to each other so basically i guess it's um sort of sig signifies this like significant uh you know thing happening in consciousness or whatever and like they say that right now Pluto's in Capricorn and it signifies like uh, you know a lot of governmental changes and things like that. Dun, dun, so, dun. so it's kind of interesting because they say the last time that Pluto was in Capricorn was during the American Revolution and so you know not to say that uh, these planets have direct influence on things but there's definitely you know some interesting connections and that's what I explore in this show. So cool. It's, it's pretty cool. Definitely worth checking out then. Yeah. All right, so for our last segment, we're gonna ask you for your favorite big word. How about you? What's yours? Okay, my favorite word is, it's a German word. It's Gesamtkunstwerk. Okay. And it means total artwork. Sweet. Use that one. I don't know if my words is intricate, but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I guess uh, Aphelion. That's actually kind of what I was going to name the show initially, but I didn't think anyone would get it. But it's uh, basically like the farthest point of an astronomical body from the sun. So. Sweet! That is a pretty good one. Cool. Yeah. So you guys both cover something of your own feel. That's nice. <laughs> um, Alright guys, so thanks for coming on the show. Uh, can you give us a plug for your own radio shows? Uh, yes, check out Atlas's playlist, uh, Thursday nights, 9pm to 11pm. Yeah, it's uh, The Ecliptic, Tuesdays from 3pm to 5pm, and there's a Facebook page for both of our pages. Okay. Yeah. You know, you can go to Coog Radio, you can find it on Facebook, and my page link is uh, facebook.com slash the period ecliptic. So. And mine's facebook.com slash a bunch of numbers that I don't know. <laughs> You can go, yeah, go I'll through. I'll show you how to do that. Radio. I'll fix it for you. Okay, yeah. Yeah. We'll yeah. be able to find it. But thanks a lot, guys. This has been fun. And make sure you guys check out Coog Radio because it's really awesome. And these guys, along with all the other DJs, play some really great music. This has been Fuha. Thanks a lot, guys. My name is Andrew Abet. Nice guy extraordinaire. We'll see you next time.